the moment that we all have been eagerly waiting for has finally arrived in India. So we have what we have in front of us is the Honda Activa Electric, Honda's first electric two-wheeler offering for the Indian market. And as you can very well see, very well can notice, it is being called the Activa E. So they are banking really heavily on the Activa moniker. Whether it can repeat the same history of the OG Activa that remains to be seen because the prices are yet to be revealed. They have just unveiled the scooter yet. Prices will be revealed at a later date that we'll tell you on our social media channel. So if you haven't followed Top Gear India on Instagram, now is the time to do it. And let me just give you a quick walk around of what you can ex expect from the Activa E. As you can see, it is based on the CUV E, which is present in some European markets and some Asian markets as well but it has been called Activa for India and there are some major differences when it comes to the differentiation between the COVE and the Activa Electric as well. Now, uh, talking about the overall design philosophy, as you can very well see, it is pretty simple but modern. Up front, it gets DRLs here and hello brother, can you please focus on the camera ones? As you can see, uh, the DRLs are here and the headlamp unit has been positioned on the front apron. Now talking about the major details, we'll get to them in a while. I'm talking about the side profile, this is how the side profile of the Activa E looks like. Pretty sleek, pretty decent and it is not going to offend anyone out there and that is how the Activa should have been positioned at, and it is how it has been positioned at. The floorboard space is, this is how it looks like. I wear a size 9 shoes so could have been more but it is still pretty decent. Now talking about uh, the rear design of the Activa Electric, it gets the connected treatment that we have seen on the DRL. So that is that has been replicated to the rear end as well. Again, pretty minimalistic, pretty decent, but pretty modern at the same time. Now talking about the specifications of the Activa Electric, it has a claimed range of 102 kilometers. So you can expect a real world range of around 80 to 85 kilometers. But the major talking point about the Activa Electric is the swappable battery packs. So it gets two swappable battery packs which are rated at 1.5 kilowatt hour each. We have already talked about the range. Now talking about the performance, the Activa Electric can clock a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour and it can do 0 to 60 kilometers per hour in 7.3 seconds. Now uh, it might be a little slow as compared to its rivals but it is bound to be an urban scooter and such performance should suffice in your urban runabouts. Now uh, talking about the instrument cluster. Now the Activa Electric is being offered in broadly two variants. One comes with the connected suite uh, that is being called as Road Sync Duo and one is the base pack variant which misses out on the connected features and this is how the 7 inch console, TFT console looks like. It is not touch screen enabled as you can see no feedback at all. And this is how the switch gear looks like. It gets three riding modes to choose from and you can toggle through the riding modes by pressing the button here. So it gets Econ, Standard and Sport. This is where you start the scooter and reverse mode is also uh, can be activated from here. And here uh, there's a nice joystick here to toggle through the menu. This is how the basic switch gear looks like. It can also be used to you know change the modes and all. It also gets uh, go maps integration in it so it will show you direction the entire map thing and there are two small cubby holes here to stash away your mobile phone and other stuff and uh, I wish I could show you the swappable battery system but Activa claims that it can be so this is how the under seat storage of the Activa Electric looks like two swappable battery packs there's a nice cubby hole here so basically there's no under seat storage to stash away your belongings you just get this amount of space to just stash away your knickknacks not some major stuff uh, could have been better because rivals like the Eighth Arista, which it is going to go up against they offer humongous boot space so on the practicality front the Activa E loses out but we are yet to ride the scooter so stay tuned for our detailed review we're talking about the other cycle parts it gets telescopic pokes at the front and a uh, adjustable suspension at the back disc brake at the front and drum brake at the back so this is all folks do let us know in the comment section below that what do you think about the Activa Electric and whether it can you know repeat the same history as the OG Activa remains to be seen stay tuned